In this second scenario, you're the timekeeper, and the drummer needs to stay in sync with you. You're playing back synchronized loops, beats, and effects. In this case, you'll need to send the drummer what's called a click track, or metronome. Remember back in the beginning tutorial when I talked about the importance of having an audio interface with more than two outs? This is another important reason to have them. We'll need to send the drummer the click track through a discrete output of our interface. First, where in the world is the metronome? Right-click the menu bar anywhere and select Customize Toolbar like you did in the last video. Drag the metronome to an open area. Click the metronome button and you'll hear it start to count off. We need to get this over to the drummer somehow. Open MainStage's Preferences and click on the General tab. From the Metronome Output menu, you can select the discrete output you're sending to the drummer. You can either run a cable with headphones from the matching output on the back of your audio interface or plug in a wireless audio system to the outs. The drummer will now hear the metronome running from main stage and will be in sync with you. So how do you control the tempo? Remember we talked about the hierarchy of the patch list? The different levels, concert sets and patches? In addition to the various levels containing different channel strips, they can also have independent tempo set within them. You can click at the concert level to set the tempo in the attributes here. Remember that the concert level tempo will blanket any set or patch unless the set or patch has an independent tempo set in its attributes tab. You can check off Change Tempo to, then select a new tempo, and when you select the patch or set, MainStage's tempo will change. You do this at the set level if you've placed all the patches you'll be using in a particular song within the set. Then whatever set or the patches within them you click on will change to the correct tempo for the song. You do this at the patch level if you're not using sets, or if there are tempo changes within the same song. You could simply switch patches that have different tempos set within their attributes tabs. If your MIDI device sends MIDI clock information, you can select Get Tempo from MIDI Input. Choose the device from the drop-down menu here. Logic Pro running on the same computer, for example, can use the IAC, Inter-Application Communications Driver, to send MIDI clock information to main stage. A built-in MIDI workstation sequencer on a physical keyboard can send MIDI clock to main stage too.